Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. A fine stew is bubbling merrily, but I beg you now to hear my story, which is no tall tale at all, and which is called The Magic Bag. There was once a priest and a magician. The priest said, It is only through me that you will get to heaven. The magician said, Is there no other way to achieve seemingly impossible things? No, said the priest. We priests have the monopoly apart from some saints, but they are few and far between. As you know, they are almost all in the distant past. Now the magician had a magical bag, and it could swallow anything its owner wanted. The priest did not know that, but he was new in those parts, so that explained his confident manner. The magician said, If you have all the power, then you will not mind if I say to this bag, Swallow the priest. Not at all, said the priest. Though it is a proof of your barbarian state, may your soul be saved. The magician took up his bag and said to it, Swallow the priest. The bag drew the priest into itself, and he was never seen again. Now the magician decided that there was no need to allow priests, and others for that matter, to have all the dealings with the invisible world. So he always put into his bag any priests or monks who would not accept his claim to equal rights of intervention in matters such as these. In the end, most of the priests concentrated on exhorting people to do good, while the magician used his bag to swallow people and things which were bad. Finally, a whole swarm of devils voraciously hungry because so much bad was disappearing without trace tracked down the magician. He told the bag to swallow them, and it did, but they were too tough for it to digest. The time for the total dissolution of demons had not yet arrived, so the magician took the bag to a blacksmith. How much to hammer this bag completely flat, as slim as a knife blade? The smith said that he would do it for ten silver pieces, so he hammered day and night, but could not get the bag flat. The demons, as is their habit, could always inflate themselves slightly after a blow had made them flat for a moment or two. You must have the devil in this bag, shouted the furious and baffled smith. Yes, indeed I have, said the magician, giving the smith only one silver piece for his trouble. He opened the bag, and all the devils streamed out back to hell, feeling very battered. Now the magician carried on his life in much the same way, avoiding anything unpleasant by making it go into the magical bag until it was nearly his time to die. He went to see a wise hermit about it. The hermit said, If you have not been honed by pleasant and unpleasant things, you may get neither to heaven nor to hell, and you may cease to exist. But that is what some people want anyway. When he died, the magician found himself at the gates of hell. Why am I here, since I have got rid of so much evil in my life? He asked the demon at the gate. The demon looked in his book. Because you spent so much time concentrating on bad things that you have a natural affinity for us. Come in, he said. The magician did not like the sound of this at all, so he said to the bag, which was over his shoulder, Swallow all this. In the twinkling of an eye there was no hell to be seen. The magician made his way to heaven. At the gate he was stopped. I have to come in, he said. Why? asked the angel on duty. Because hell has ceased to exist, and there is no other place to go. I can get heaven into this bag in a twinkling of an eye, and you too if you don't let me in. And that, they say, is how he got into heaven. But there are some who say that the places he visited were not heaven or hell at all. But you just decide, as I have given you all the help you need, and it's nearly time for me to jump into my magic bag. Thank you.